Class 9, Chapter 7, the topic we are going to study is Diversity in Living Organisms. Diversity in Living Organisms. First, we have to know what is diversity. Diversity means a range of different things. So we are going to learn a range of different living organisms. Let's look at examples of different types of birds. They are different in their structure as we see from this picture. Some are small and some are big. This also shows diversity of birds. A lot of birds are there. From this picture we can see different types of animals living in the forest. We can also observe different plants. Let's think about smallest organisms like microorganisms. So there are millions of species on this earth. For anybody it is impossible to study about each of them in his lifetime. So here comes classifications make it easy to study the organisms on the basis of certain common characters. Basics of classifications we'll study now. A Greek thinker Aristotle, he classified that about animals according to whether they live on the land, in water or in air. This is a very simple way of looking at life, but misleading too. For example, animals that live in water like, like whales, shark, starfish, octopus, etc. We can immediate, immediately see that these are very different from each other in numerous ways. In fact, their habitat is the only point they share in common. This is not appropriate way of making groups of organisms to study and think about. We therefore need to decide which characteristic to be used as the basis for making the broadest divisions. Characteristic. A characteristic play very important in classifications. Some examples of such characteristics used for a hierarchical classifications are Let's discuss First, first we study eukaryotic cells Under eukaryotic cells, they have membrane-bound organelles, including nucleus So they perform specialized functions while other organisms like prokaryotic, they do not have a clearly demarcated nucleus and other organelles. They will organize in very different ways. Therefore, this is a basic characteristic of classifications. Unicellular and multicellular organisms, they have a very basic distinctions in body designs of organisms. Photosynthesis. Some organisms produce their own food through the process of photosynthesis. Example, plants. Animals. Animals, they have a specialized organs found four different functions. So these are some characters in hierarchical classification. Classifications and evolutions. Classification closely related to evolutions. What is evolutions? The way in which living things change and develop over millions of years are called as evolutions. And, which, and this is given by Charles Darwin. Let's take a look of this picture. 
elephant. Millions of years ago, this elephant, their existence were not like the present, which is given here. They were not like the present. They have changed from here. They have changed and developed to survive for better. So this is an example of evolutions of elephant. The hierarchy of classification groups. Biology such as Ernst Haeckel, Robert Whittaker, and Carl Hus. They have tried to classify all living organisms into a broad categories, which is called as kingdom. Whittaker, the classifications of Whittaker proposed has five kingdoms, which are Monera, Protista, Fungi, Plantae, and Animalia. Further classification is done by naming the subgroups at various levels as given in the following Kingdom, Phylum, Class, Order, Family, Genus, and Species. Thus, by separating organisms on the basis of hierarchy of, class or hierarchy of characteristic into smaller and smaller groups, we arrive at the basic unit of classifications, which is, which is species. So what organisms can say to belong to the same species? Broadly, a species includes all organisms that are similar enough to breed and perpetuate.